is Jerry wearing all black? My man looks like he's trying to blend into a shadow. Oh, man, I like that outfit. It was very slimming. Hey, Von DiCarlo, can you come in here for a second? Hey, Jerry, what's up? Yeah, could you help me respond to some of the people who are really criticizing me online? Oh, hell yeah. Clap back at your haters? Nobody comes from a Jerry. <laughs> Who's first? Uh, Mark from Facebook said, what's up with Jerry's eyebrows? He's always got an expression like he just saw a ghost. Wow, <laughs> okay. Let's roast that hater. Okay, you know what? Why don't we ask him to come here on the show and give me a makeover? Absolutely not. No, 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 just like, hear me out. We bring him to New York City, we give him the full VIP treatment, front row seats to the show, put his family up in a nice hotel, fresh fruit, flowers, and then I let him wax my eyebrows. Um, no. Show me his account. <laughs> this guy is talking about you seeing ghosts when he's out here looking like Casper? Jerry, you have to respond to these trolls. Don't take advantage of your kindness. Trust me. Look, you can't just let these comments hang out there. Look at this guy. Jerry said he got a show from sucking on Wendy's feet. Hashtag nasty. Well, I, I, I did do that. It's, Look at it's... this one. Jerry's extra AF. Trying way too hard. Yeah, they say that a lot, but I thought trying hard was cool. <sighs> Jer Bear, let me handle all these haters. You go do your show. Okay, you know what, you're right. I'm gonna go get ready for yes. the show and then we'll regroup later. Yes. Just, you're not gonna respond to them, right? I got you, boo. Okay, don't, I got you. don't, don't, don't worry respond. about it. Thank don't you. Don't worry about it. Nobody comes at you, especially someone with such a big ass head. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got a lot on your mind, big head. <laughs> Big head, stupid. different Jerry. He's got a courtroom show now. <laughs> Everybody, Thursday and still not fired. Boom! Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we gotta give a quick shout out to Matthew McConaughey. We love him. Yesterday, man, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, man. <laughs> Look how... I mean, I, I love him, but like he didn't even, not even, a bro, not even hands through the hair before this photo. <laughs> Just like, all right, man, where are we going here? Take the photo. <laughs> uh, Matthew, Matthew, your hair? I don't care, all right, all right, all right. Still looks good. Uh, yesterday, Matthew was named a professor at his alma mater, the University of Texas. Go Longhorns. <laughs> right there. Pretty sure he lives in Austin. He'll be teaching a film production class called Script to Screen this semester. Hey, you know what would be super funny? Um, we all know those, those, uh, those, those commercials he does, those Lincoln car commercials. It would be so fun if he used those motivational speeches. Yeah, like these commercials, yeah. <laughs> Where he's talking about being in a Lincoln, man, and just like how cool it is, but it's like super motivating. You know, what if, what if he uses, like what he says in those commercials, uh, it's super weird, but what if he uses it in like his classroom settings, right? Let's see if it like works. I'm gonna try it, ready? This is like his class, you ready? Hey man. Uh, actually, you know what? Give me some of the weird, hold on a second. Give me some of the weird like car commercial music. Hey class, sometimes, sometimes you gotta actually actually go back to move forward. Uh, I don't mean going back to reminisce or chase ghosts. I mean, going back to where you came from, class. Where you been, how you got there, see where you're going. And I know there are those of you that say you can't go back. Yes, you can. You just gotta look in the right places. Yes! I want him as my teacher! All right. 
All right, all right, all right. Class is in session. Yeah! <laughs> Love him. <laughs> I want that class. This is huge news. Oh, we love her. Leslie Jones is sadly leaving SNL. Sad face emoji, I know. But she's leaving to focus on movies, and she's also going to be hosting a new version of the classic TV game show, Supermarket Sweep. Yes! Go for the turkey! Go for the turkey! Get that cheese, go, 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 go! Turkey, turkey! Ham, ham, get that cheese! That's my show right there. Oh, man. <laughs> Get the cheese, more cheese! <laughs> Look, as far as I'm concerned, Leslie should be hosting everything, every single show that's out there. I love, I love you, Leslie, you're great. Now, I've never been asked to host a game show, and I don't think I'll be getting asked anytime soon. <laughs> I had, this is not a joke, everyone, this is a true story, this is not a sketch or anything. I had a little bit of a bad experience with a game show that rhymes with Match Game. Um, we all know Match Game. Alec Baldwin hosts it, he's great. It's the show where contestants fill in the blank in a phrase and the celebrity has to match it to the answer. Well, I was one of the celebrities on the panel and things did not go so well. The sentence, the sentence we had to fill in the blank was, um, the sentence was, he wanted to get in that girl's blank. Okay? <laughs> All right, okay, so what do you guys, what do you guys think I wrote? And please be, de please be cool, it's television. Okay, okay, well, I, I wrote booty. Okay, all right, I thought it was like, I thought it was a, I thought it was a fun answer, you know? I thought, you know, it was safe for television. Anyway, I was wrong. The, the contestant's answer was actually, <clears throat> Okay, that's what, that's what he wrote down. Wow. He wrote it out. Yeah. Listen man, that show gets a little racy. I don't know if you've seen it. So this contestant was losing by a lot. I mean like n no money on the board at all. And I thought <clears throat> booty would not be accepted as the correct answer because the booty is, you know, back here. And this contestant wrote <laughs> which is in the front, right? So before they got to me, <clears throat> I changed my answer to, okay? Now my celebrity neighbor, you know you're lined up with all the celebrities, my celebrity neighbor, I love her, was Niecy Nash, okay? Yes, there's my girl. Love her. She was my neighbor on the show, she was my neighbor in real life. Current uh, Emmy nominee for When They See Us. I really hope you win, Nisi. Also the star of Claws, hello. Anyway, anyway, Nisi, Nisi saw what I was doing and was like, <clears throat> and I was like writing it out and I was like, don't worry, Nisi. I got this. <laughs> so I, you know, I quietly wrote down, right? And then it came to me and they said, you know, Jerry, what's your answer? I held it up and the contestant was like, yes, boom! And I was like connecting with the contestant. I was like, I got this, right? Hold on a second. This is why I'm not allowed on game shows, everybody. <laughs> what can only be described as a very loud siren went off, like, ah, 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 ah. I thought there was a fire in the building. I was like, oh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I was ready to evacuate, but then all the producers came onto the stage and converged right in front of me and went, <clears throat> um, Jerry, did you change your answer? <laughs> and I looked, looked them all in the eye and I said, no. <laughs> and they said, hold on a second. This, this is a true story. They said, um, we actually have you on camera. And they pointed up. And I didn't see this. This is why you can't do anything these days, kids. There was a camera like right here above me. Like right there. And I was like, oh, that camera, oh, this camera right there? And I was like, all right, you guys got me. I looked right over to Nisi for support and she was like, mm. So we had to, we had to retape using my original answer and they knew what my original answer was the whole time because they had me on camera the whole time. 
But that's why I'm banned from all game shows. But hey, Leslie, we love you. Good luck to you. No cheating. Don't let them cheat. Get the turkey, get the turkey! <laughs> love that show. Um, <laughs> I got it. Oh, mom, I can't carry anymore. Get the cheese, go for the cheese! Um, hey everyone, I don't know if you saw this yesterday, but Kim Kardashian, this was kind of scary, caught a, beautiful, um, caught a huge spider in her garage. <laughs> scary, super scary. Um, that's a real spider. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. That, thing's, that thing bites you, you're like shooting webs and stuff. <laughs> um, Full disclosure, this might a little bit be my fault. Um, Kim K lives a few miles away from me. Uh, Kim lives in the gated community in our small village of Calabasas. <laughs> I live just outside the gates. <laughs> I mean, there's like a, there's a fence around my house. It's like, it's gate-ish, but it's just like, it's, <laughs> it's just like a, it's not like, it's not like gates. It's, it's actually more just like a rope around my house. <laughs> um, anyway, we caught a spider at our house a little while ago and pics or it didn't happen. Show them the pics of my spider. Do we have that? Uh. Boom. That's no joke. That is a tarantula right there that was in our, our kitchen. I wanna say, these are my daughters. This is a good friend of theirs. We didn't get permission. It's like, I didn't get permission from her parents to show her. She's not a ghost. This isn't the ring or anything, guys. <laughs> Everyone's like, whoa, whoa, oh God, his house is being haunted. Uh, there's, a, there's a ghost next to your children. No, we just didn't get permission, but she's their good friend, super cute girl, Hannah. Hey, Hannah, what's up? Anyway, we caught this, and this is not a joke. I, we did the right thing. We, we set it free, we put it outside, and then no joke, the very next morning, it was back in our kitchen. So I did, I did what I had to do. Did what I had to do. Put that spider in the bucket. I drove right up to the, those Kardashian gates. <laughs> I set that thing free. I put it right in there. Go spider, be free. Be free. Have fun. Have fun at Kanye Sunday service, little spider. Go, yes, be free. We got so much to talk about, everybody. We will be right back. everybody. Um, well, this is a crazy story. Simon Cowell changed his shirt <laughs> and everyone went loco. <laughs> Simon Cowell always wears a black or white shirt, never a color, but the other night on AGT, he changed it up and shocked viewers by wearing a red shirt. <laughs> It wasn't even Valentine's Day. <laughs> I mean, look, it, it's pretty crazy that Simon only wears a white shirt or a black shirt, you know? I mean, it shows a complete lack of style, a complete lack of creativity, lack of imagination. Well, yes, that's me in a white shirt. Okay, sketchy producers, I was helping move some boxes the other day and I was in a white shirt, but I have one, that's me with my daughters from my Instagram page. We were in a deli. Yes, I was wearing a white shirt. <laughs> All right, sketchy producers, I see what's happening here. That's just me just helping out with, uh, with one of our printers. That was, uh, that was, there was a paper jam. Yes, that's with our interns. Okay, uh, I got a three pack in the shirt, okay guys? And I like, All right, that's me with DMX. Yes, I'm wearing a white shirt, but so is he. What? Okay, yeah, all right, thank you, sketchy producers. I do like white shirts. Uh, you know, I did have a small, okay, yeah, that's another white shirt, that's me with Mario. Okay, stop, guys, guys, stop. Sketchy producers, stop it. Okay, enough, 
I had a small bag that I brought with me. Okay, yes, yes. Did I just see a ghost there? Like, what is happening there? <laughs> you know what that is? That's paparazzi, and that's me trying to flex on them. <laughs> <laughs> Take the photo, man. Take the photo. So yes, I do like white shirts, too. I'm sorry, Mr. Cowell. I guess you can't judge a man by the color of his shirt. <laughs> um, oh. Kirsten Dunst, Kiki Dunst, says she's being ignored by Hollywood and sick of just being known as the girl from Bring It On. First of all, Bring It On is a friggin' classic, <laughs> this movie. I mean, what's up, Gabby Union? Everybody, um, when, it comes, uh, when it comes on TV, I dare anyone here to try and turn that film off. I was actually... I was late this morning because it was on. I was like <laughs> walking out of the house. I was, I was late and I was like, oh, bring it on is on. Okay. <clears throat> hey, I'm gonna be late. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I do kind of see where Kirsten is coming from. Um, you know, Kirsten, we do all love you in that role. You blossomed into a beautiful woman before our very eyes. Uh, when I was a kid, I was in a little film called Stand By Me. Everyone remembers? <laughs> I played. Uh, I played, uh, I played, <clears throat> I played the husky kid, Vern. <laughs> Easy, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Little husky. Uh, uh, listen, I remember growing up here in New York, people would be like, hey, fat kid from Stan by me. <laughs> right? And I'd be like, husky kid from Stan by <laughs> Okay. But it did, it did kind of bother me to be solely identified with a role from my youth. But I mean, you know, you're part of a classic, so I mean, come on, Kiki, it's sort of an exciting thing. Um, you should be proud of it. It's part of who we are. Um, hey, speaking of Stand By Me, it came out 33 years ago. 33 years ago, yeah. Old. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness we have Millie Almodovar coming out with some skin stuff because I, I am O L D. Um, <laughs> It was my very first role in Stand By Me. I remember when I came home from making it, my dad told me, listen, don't tell anyone because movies like this never get released. So I didn't tell anybody. Anyway, uh, we all know it's a coming of age movie about four boys who go off to find a dead body. Well, Sony is re-releasing the new 4K Ultra HD and digital version today. And in honor of the film, they released some deleted scenes yesterday. Take a look, these are new scenes. Bye, Ma, see you tomorrow. Ma. Did you finish your line of beans? Yeah. yeah. I remember filming that. I remember filming that and wondering why, why didn't it go in? Why is it cut? I also remember doing a, a bunch of takes and them just refilling my plate with those raviolis and thinking, <laughs> I mean, we established I'm a husky guy. <laughs> like, I remember thinking, like, they're paying me to eat? Okay, yeah, come on. It's so cool they went in the vaults and found this. Um, I remember the day the film came out, I saw the first noon matinee right here in New York on Lexington with my grandparents, because my grandparents were the ones who came with me for filming, because my parents were working. We saw it in an empty theater, and the lady who sold us the tickets, it was empty, sold, sold us tickets, uh, like, as we were walking out, went, hey, are you, you were the guy in the movie, right? And I was like, yeah. My grandmother was like, yeah. And she was like, hey, come here. And so I went with her and she gave us our money back and said, movie stars don't have to pay. It was so, so cute, you know? <laughs> my, and, my, and, my, and my grandparents, God rest their souls, were like so like, like all my grandfather, like the movie was a hit. All my grandfather was like, and the lady gave us some money back. <laughs> it was amazing. But um, she, I remember she, she said to me as I was leaving, she was like, that was a really good movie, man. And I was like, oh, thank you. And she was like, no, I, I see all the movies that come through here and that movie's gonna be really good. And it was at that moment I knew like my life was gonna change right there, you know? And here we are, talking about it 33 years later. You were wrong, Dad, you were wrong. 
Hey, uh, speaking of deleted scenes, up next we're gonna show you some funny moments that never made it onto the show. Blooper reel, everybody, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Later on, the hot Peter Facinelli is here. We'll be right back. Listen, everybody, listen, listen, listen. Our goal here at the Jerry O Show is to make the audience laugh as hard as they can every day, day in, day out. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> Truth be told, we have a lot of fun making the show as well. That's why we wanted to share some of the stuff that did not make it on air over the last few weeks, okay? Please enjoy some Jerry O outtakes. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Walk in a circle with your eyes closed, making whale sounds for 15 minutes. I just want to look at Eden when I'm doing them, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're going to Italy. We're going to Italy, yeah. <laughs> Buongiorno. Bellissimo. Ciao, bella. Cannoli, prosciutto, sausage and pepper. Performing the first bottle cap okay. challenge here on the oh. Jerry O Show. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to hold it for you. Ready? Uh, yeah. Whenever you're ready. You tell me. All right, I'm ready. Should I look or not? I'm going to close my eyes. Count me down. Three, two, one. Oh, he moves it. Scary, scary, scary. You ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. It appears we have two young adults passed out. Dr. Phil is gonna go investigate. Excuse me. Oh. Are you familiar with the Dr. Phil show? Robin made my favorite. Gabba goo, peanut butter, banana, and honey. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I look like Kato Kalin. Uh, oh, no, Your Honor. I didn't see anything that night. <laughs> I don't know this reference. Oh, <laughs> it was OJ trial. No. Yeah, it was pretty major. Let's see the next week. Pretty young. <laughs> Sbarro, Olive Garden, unlimited breadsticks and the salad bar. This is a pop culture sprint, not a marathon. I need to make sure I don't let my audience down. Super producers, hit me. What are the names of Kim and Conway's baby? Uh, Conway? <laughs> Tim Conway? <laughs> Tim Conway? Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, the pop culture show, uh, uh, Margaret and Gladys. <laughs> A Peter Facinelli, a Tony Adanza, yeah! It's so scary, these surprise guests, everybody. I mean, first of all, it's scary because I really hope I know who they are. Like, if like one of those kids from one of those K-pop bands comes out, I'm gonna be like, I don't know you. Hard salami, prosciutto. Who has a better singing voice, me or Bradley Cooper? Ah! Oh, Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Jerry! Jerry! New Yorkers do not eat pizza with utensils? fun making the show for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, up next, Peter Facinelli is here. We'll be right back. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. I share a long, 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 long history with our first guest. We went to college together. We starred in Can't Hardly Wait together. And I 
I personally watched him in all six Twilight movies. Please welcome Peter Facinelli! <laughs> Great audience. Got. Look, good looking audience. There you go. I said with a with a name like Jerry O, you gotta have your own show. <laughs> I mean Jerry O, the uh, Jerry O show. That's that's that sounds good. Peter. I don't know if Facinelli's show would sound as good. Yeah, Peter F. Peter F. F show, F O show. Uh, Peter Fatch. Um, Fatch Attack. <laughs> Fetch yeah, attack. you're stretching. Peter, I've known you, I've known you for decades. Whew, now you, you're showing our age. No, you always look great, man. We met when we were five. <laughs> no, you always look good. The oh, hair, nice, like man. everything, the goatee. I can't do the I'm goatee. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing I the can't. goatee back. I just literally took it out for you. I haven't worn this goatee since 2002. I did a show called Fastlane. Well, of course. And, uh, and I had Fox, a- Fox, we loved it. I had a right goatee. Here. And, uh, and I haven't worn it since then. So, so I brought it back just today. It's a special occasion, the Jerry O Show. Now, now, Peter, 21 years ago, we were both in the film Can't Hardly Wait. There we are. Oh. Young Peter, wow. young Jerry. Wow. What I was, mean, that was, that was, has it been 21 years? 21 years. What was your, what was your first impression of me? I gotta be honest, I was totally starstruck. <laughs> no. I still get starstruck. Come on, yeah, no, come he's, on. He's uh, like a tall, dark, and handsome, like, yeah. you know. I remember, well, I saw you in, uh, in Stand By Me. I was in Stand By Me, and sure. And I love that movie. Yeah. I love, love, love that movie. So I was so excited to work with you, honestly. And I was a little nervous. I still get starstruck with people I work with. You, you know, it's funny, when, when we met, I mean, we had gone to college together, yeah. I knew you as like, uh, listen, in college, ladies and gentlemen, everybody loved this guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I would like, I, we would like, we had like a group of friends that we all ran with, mm. and um, like people would like pull me to the side and like because we were friends, and I'd be like, hey, what's up? Do you need to talk? And I think they'd like say like, you know, I want to talk about my feelings with you. They'd be like, I just have so many feelings for Peter Facinelli. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> you really. Um, you were a stud. You always have been. Know, uh, I don't know. I was more of you. a wallflower. I was super shy. So um, if that was happening, I didn't know anything about it. Now, we are teaming up again in a really funny film called The Effort List, yeah. um, which was so fun to work together. Here we are, um, I mean, decades later, teaming up. You know what? You, you still got what's it. Funny about that picture is, I said we should we should do another picture, kind of like our can't hardly wait, like sitting on the bench on the swing. We we're sitting right. on that swing. So I said uh, let's let's pose like that picture. So we were studying the picture and we were trying to like get our character. And Jerry starts getting into character. He's like, you know, starts acting like your character just for the photo. That's it. It's really funny. That's it. When He's I go in, method. I get I get in deep, man. And I'll tell you the remember like the, Christian Bale. The, I don't know how to get totally out. You went Christian Bale on it. But that burp that you had in Can't Hardly Ooh, Wait. Right, I burp. Yeah, he burps in Can't Hardly Wait. And I was so impressed because he went totally like a lot of times actors will just open their mouth, they'll put a burp in, but he literally went for it. Yeah. And it was, you know, miss, you know, spent youth or something like yeah. you, you had that down. Could no. you do that now? Like, could you still do it? That's an actor. That is an actor. Um, you have three beautiful daughters. Thank they you. are 12, 16, oh. and 22. Oh, Gorgeous. God. You did it, buddy. Listen, my, I, my I have daughter... three sisters, and now I have three daughters, so I'm, I've been around women my whole entire life. Right. Um, now, my daughters are 10. What's in store for me, man, when teenage should come? Oof. Wow, they're both 10, your daughters? Both 10, twins, yeah. Okay, when they hit 16, they kind of go into their room and then they don't come out till they're like 18. <laughs> so I don't know what they're doing in there. Or I thought maybe they're like, my daughter's trying to cure like, uh, you know, uh, human like cancer right, or something. Sure, so she's sure. got some kind of laboratory in their room. Uh, no, my, my kids, their, their whole thing is uh, wanting to start a YouTube channel. That's what they want to yeah. do. Like they're like, 
like they're always like shopping for makeup and like want to do a makeup tutorial. <laughs> That's hysterical. And have you supported that? Have you gotten them like the microphone, the equipment? I have and, like, not stage dad? supported it. I mean, I'm, I, I have not supported it. You haven't I mean, let them put the makeup on you at all? No, yeah. Have you ever um, played Pretty Pretty Princess with your <laughs> Right, daughter? sure. Because yeah. I've played with my kids and I win all the time, so I, I'm the prettiest princess in the land. Right, you are, yeah. you are. Um, okay, I cheated, I cheated. Now, your beautiful girlfriend, Lily, I've met her, she's gorgeous. Oh, um, gorgeous, look at these two. Um, how, did, uh, how did you guys meet? Uh, we met at a sushi restaurant, actually. I was, I was sitting uh, at the sushi bar, and I looked over, she was sitting there, and we were both by ourselves, which was uh, really lonely and sad. Oh. But, but we struck up a great conversation, and, and here we are a couple years later. She's fantastic. Hold on a second. So, like, you, like, just lean over and go, can you pass the low-sodium soy sauce, please? Yeah, it was, ex like, it was exactly like that, yeah. What I think she might have said you just have uh, soy sauce all over your shirt or something like that, because it was just, like, but I guess a messy I, eater. I, I, I mean, did you, like, did you initiate? Did you go over? Uh, I, no, we were literally sitting next to each other, so I, I don't even remember who started the conversation first, but uh, we just started talking to each other, and, and we haven't stopped. Like, we... Literally sometimes, it's one of those relationships where it's so amazing where I still could have these fantastic conversations with her up to like four or five o'clock in the morning where you're just kind of like up all night talking. Yeah. That really is great. Sweet. No, you guys do have a great, a great, a great Thank energy you. about you when you're together. My wife and I do have conversations till four or five in the morning, but we're usually fighting. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm that's, so mad, I should have never married you! It's ah! not a bad thing though, because honestly, I, I feel like as long as you're communicating, and, and fighting sometimes is communicating. Right. Uh, as long as you have that energy exchange, there's a relationship there. Sure. It's when you look over at the couple at the restaurant and they're just kind of sitting there, and none, they're not talking to each other at all. Sure. And they're both kind of just sitting there, look, staring into their soup like they want to kill themselves. Then you know the relationship is just over. Right, right, right. Hey, listen, it's good advice. Yeah. Maybe you should I'm like have Dr. Like Phil. A... I should have my own show. You should. Uh, the Fat Facinelio Show. Love advice from Peter Facinelli. I would watch that. Now, the film stars Nick Cage and Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, They're man. They're fantastic, fantastic guys. Legends. I mean, I was so... Uh... So excited to work with them, really. They're they're just they're two legends, they're, and so were you. So oh, I get out of here! No, really, These guys working are with legends. you is like Peter. I cannot thank you enough. Queens is on Peter, everybody. Hey, Running with the Devil hits theaters September 20th. Thank you so much for being thank here. You for really, me, good luck. We'll be right back. It is time for this season's hottest gadgets, and here to break it down for us is beauty expert Millie Almoldivar. Hi, Millie. Thank Let's you. get started. What do we got, Millie? Okay, so first we're going to start off with the Velour Selfie Ring Light. Now you know yes. when it comes to pictures, what is everything? Lighting. Lighting is absolutely everything. So I got this on Amazon for like twelve dollars. It is insane what this can do. First of all, it has three light modes, right? Okay. But you can change the light setting, okay, and the brightness to any of the I lights think it's that you have. Right here. Yeah. There, there's on and off. Yeah, you can turn the. You can turn. Well, there it, we go. But you can turn it as bright as you want. You can turn it as dark oh, as you want. It. Yeah. But do you see that it gives your skin like a filtered effect? Right. Yeah. And what I like this. What I like about this also is not only is it giving your skin like a filtered effect, but you can use this as a reading light. I've used this as a reading light. It's good. Hey, listen, Millie, you're beautiful and young. I'm old, I need this no. light. Are you crazy? I feel like everyone needs this. It is. <laughs> and how much is it? This is $12, 12 and you can bucks. find it on Amazon. Worth every penny. What do we got next? So this is the Pereo Luna 3. Pereo okay. Luna 3. Yeah, so Chrissy Teigen is a big fan of this. Okay, well then I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> so why, why do I like this? First of all, I keep this in my gym bag at all times. Really? Okay? It cleans your face. Feel it here. This one is working. This one Whoa. has. Yeah. So you see that? It has. Yeah. Eight, it has 8,000 T sonic pulsations per minute. Amazing. Okay? But then it has. So it's gonna clean your face way better than your hands ever will. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, it's like scrubbing that? away. But then if you turn it around, it has the massage mode. Okay? So this is the first skincare device oh, on the market. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it feels so good. Doesn't Millie. it feel good? Yeah. I'm not kidding. 
Yeah, so this gives... other one too. <laughs> oh, so it gives you. Oh wow! Oh yeah. Right. So the. So the what? Please, Millie, continue. So it gives you it gives you that ultra hygienic cleanse because these silicone bristles, but sure. it also has that massage feature as well that's controlled by the app. I'm into it. Okay, yeah, this what is do $199. You can get it. One ninety nine. The Ferreo, yeah. the Ferreo Luna three. What okay. else do we got? So this is light. So this is the Eternal Skin Light. Okay, light therapy right now is huge. It's when you go to a like dermatologist or spa and you basically stand in front of a light because what happens is red light is known for building collagen in your skin. It's look here. I'm gonna turn yours on. Yeah, you should now just put Whoa, it. Okay. Yeah, so put it on your face. Okay. Whoa. So do you see that? So yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's turning red. So what that red light is going to do, it's going to stimulate collagen in your skin. Oh, yeah, if I you need have... this. Let's go. <laughs> if, you have, if you have hyperpigmentation, which many people have, it's going gonna, it's gonna to promote healing, okay? Let's go. Yeah. So what, what I love about this one, too, is that it has that glass tip. So that glass tip is really going to help that LED light work better. So you can use it for about 20 minutes for three, three times a week, and you will see in like, I would say about eight weeks, your skin is gonna look plumper, it's gonna look fuller. <laughs> let's go, let's go! How much, how much will this run us? So this is $2.99, and you can get it at eternalskincare.com. Worth every penny. Okay. What right. do we got here? Okay, this is the back blade. Remember last time we did a segment, you the first thing you told me was that you have hair on your back, that you're <laughs> getting hair on your back. <laughs> so I got you something. This is the back blade. It allows I'm Waiting you for this! <laughs> This is the back, it allows you to safely and efficiently shave your own back hair. Right? Let's try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay, there we go. You see, I get this little patch there. It's super gross. Here we go. Wait a minute. Oh, I feel it. Yeah. So look, do you see that you can use it dry? These blades are called dry glide and you can use it dry. Do you see that it's coming off? Yeah, and you've got two blades. You see, let's see the hair. Well, no, I didn't take the blade. You want me to oh, take the blade the, off? Oh, they took the blade <laughs> right, Well, they put the, they, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna try one blade here. This is gonna be super gross, but I'm doing it, everybody, okay? Here we go. Right, so it has these dry glides. Yes, look, it came off! Yeah, you see that? And look. Oh my God! Hot, hot girl summer! <laughs> yeah! Ooh, get it out of there. And you see <laughs> It's amazing, it really works. It really works. You can use it wet or dry, the blades are patented. This is $29.95, you can get it at backblade.com. Done! What do we got here? Okay, so listen, this is the Brio, it's the IC4 eye massager. Beauty sleep is, is actually real, okay? okay. When, you, so, when you are not sleeping well, a few things happen. You'll get the dark circles, of course, but then your body starts to produce cortisol, which is an, a hormone, right? And what does that do? It gives you acne women can start developing facial hair. So I love this device. This is a Brio IC4 eye massager, okay? Oh, so you, wow. Do you feel it? I can okay. feel it. Yeah, so what it's doing is it's giving you a shiatsu oh, acupressure wow. massage. On you my can, eyes? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Millie, yeah. it feels so good. <laughs> right, so what that's doing is it's gonna just, all over your temples, as you can see, it has three <laughs> modes, the sleep mode and the massage oh, mode. Oh, wow, I, like, I, no one has ever massaged my <laughs> eyes. It feels so good. All right, Jerry, this is not. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> I know, it's addicting, you use it 10 minutes a day. Oh man, M Millie, uh, okay. and how much is that? $129.95. All right, and what do we got here? This quickly? is the MDNA Beauty Roller Madonna. This is from Madonna's company who I actually who chatted with when she launched this. This uses ultra-infrared energy. There's you, Madonna. Yeah, there's yeah. you, Madonna. This uses ultra-infrared oh, energy wow. to kind of just tone, tighten, and lift your face. Need this, need this. I get, yeah. I get this weird neck stuff down here. Yeah, and you can use it all over your body. Oh, I'm, it feels so good. Yeah. I love this stuff, Millie. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. You're the best. For more info on these gadgets featured on today, log on to jerryoshow.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> Woo, okay, we are back. And it's time to play Say What? All right, let's meet our player, Liza, from Brooklyn in the house. Okay, Liza, I'm gonna read you three tweets from okay. Kanye West, okay. from Yeezy, All right. <laughs> but only two are real. You have to tell us which tweet is the fake. Are you ready? All right, I'm, I'm good, I got you. Okay, All here's right. tweet A. I wish I could run across the beach into my own arms. Oh, I kind of believe it. Okay, oh, here's know. tweet B. I don't keep up with the Kardashians. The Kardashians have to keep up with me. <laughs> and here's tweet C. Man, ninjas are cool. 
I just don't know any personally. Which tweet <laughs> is not tweet. something Kanye actually tweeted? Ooh, okay, okay. So I gotta be honest, I think the ninja one is 100% true. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think, oh, I think it's gotta be a uh, B. It's gotta be B. B. You're right! Yeah. We gotta thank Millie Almoldovar for helping me shave my back. Tomorrow, the world's strongest man is here. And my final surprise guest, I have no idea who it is, but they assure me it's gonna be crazy. Thanks so much for hanging out. See you next time on Jerry O. Liza, get this thing.